If you want to download games and updates faster, play online games with lower ping and have a much more stable, faster connection on your PS4, then you are watching the right video as I'm going to show you a few proven and guaranteed methods to boost your internet speed on your PlayStation 4. Let's do this. Before I do go through the steps to do this, I do just want to confirm that this will work no matter where you are in the world, and it will work for both wired and wireless connections, although for best results, I do recommend you use a cable to plug your PS4 directly into your Wi-Fi router. To get the fastest possible speed on your network, you will also need some sort of computer to be able to carry out some tests we're going to do in this video, but if you do not have access to a PC, this is still worth watching as I will provide you with a range of different settings for you to try that other people do see really good results with. To start off with, let's work our way properly through the network setup on the PS4 console. Go to settings, network and then set up a network connection, and select custom. On the page where you are asked to choose your network, click the options button on your controller and make sure you have 5GHz enabled, as if your network and PS4 do both support 5G, it is important to connect to a 5GHz bandwidth for the best possible speed. Then select automatic on the IP address settings, and then for the DHCP hostname, select don't specify, and then for the DNS settings, you want to choose to set these up manually. To find out what the best DNS servers are for you, go to your PC and click the link in the description of this video to download a tool to your PC called Namebench. There will be a load of different downloads on that link so make sure you download the most recent one for your operating system. This is 100% safe to download and it is what we are going to be running some tests with to get the best settings for your own network. Once it is installed, open the program and copy the settings you see on screen now, then you are going to want to click the start benchmark button. Also make sure that the network your PC PC is connected to is the same network your PS4 is connected to. This process could take a while, so whilst you wait for this to finish, hit that like button underneath this video, and also make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you never miss out on another one of my PlayStation guides or discussion videos. Fun fact, only 2.5% of you who watch my videos are subscribed, so let's work together to get that number up. Once the process is complete, it will open a results document in your browser, and this is where we will be deciding what the best DNS servers are for you to use on your own PS4. On this document, we want to pay attention to the min and max columns to decide which DNS servers are the most stable and which will give the most consistent and fastest download speeds as well as the lowest and most stable ping. For me, the DNS server I am defaulted to by my internet provider does have the lowest number in the minimum column but it also has the highest in the max column out of the top 5 servers shown in my results. If we take a look lower down at the Google public DNS, the min is a little higher but the max is so much lower making the server a lot more stable and will therefore offer faster download speeds at a more consistent rate. If we then take a look at the Ultra DNS server just below that, we see a very similar thing happening there. So it is very clear that the public Google DNS and the Ultra DNS servers are the best DNS servers for me to use on my own network. If you don't have access to this tool or a PC, I will list lots of different DNS servers linked to different locations for you to test and see which works best for you, so check the description for all of those. If you do have access to this tool however, then go through the same process as I have and look for which two servers are the most stable. Once you are happy with your top two DNS servers, go back to your PS4 and make sure you are on the DNS settings page where you can manually change both your primary and secondary DNS servers. For me, I'm going to input my primary DNS as the most stable server from the results, which is a Google public DNS, so I will be inputting 8.8.8.8. And then when you have your primary DNS inputted, input your secondary DNS as the second most stable server from the results table. For me, that would end up being the Ultra DNS Server 2, so I'm going to retype in 156.154.71.1 and then set that as my secondary DNS in that box. Now you have the best possible DNS settings for your network, click next and you should be asked about the MTU settings, which you want to put onto automatic. Then for a proxy server, select do not use, and now you have your internet connection properly set up and you can perform a speed test to see if this method has helped get you a higher download speed on your PS4. If you haven't seen a direct increase in speed, then don't change your settings back just yet as you will have more consistent download speeds, as as well as lower and a much more stable ping while you're playing online games. Now for a few bonus tips, my number one piece of advice would be to use a wired connection, as it will reduce latency and significantly increase the speeds you receive on your PS4. Secondly, if you want to download a new update or game as fast as possible, put your PS4 into rest mode as this will stop all background processes on your PS4 
PS4, meaning your internet can focus more on downloading the update files and applications. A third tip that can help a lot of you if you have a really slow connection is to go through your friends list and delete all the people you don't really play with. This is something I did about a year ago, I probably went from about 250 PSN friends to around 25 and I did see around a 5 megabit per second increase on my download speed is your PS4 doesn't have to load in all of your friends information it's regularly so more bandwidth does go into downloading files on your PS4 and playing games. If this guide has helped you out then please hit the like button as it really helps me out too and if you want to see more PS4 and PS5 tips, guides and discussions then please consider subscribing to my channel and selecting all notifications so you don't miss out on another one of my uploads. Also leave a comment letting me know what ping and download speed you get on your PS4 and feel free to ask any questions as I will respond to every single one of them. Whilst you're in the settings menu on your PS4, there are also a ton of settings that you just need to change to get the most performance and more features out of your console. So if you want to know what those settings are, then click the video on screen now. Anyway, that's all for me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.